Welcome back, peeps. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Band of Bros channel, where we're always taking a look at new tips and tricks to improve your gameplay in Modern Warfare and Warzone mode. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to survive the most wanted contract. We're going to be taking a look at the best places to drop, the best class setup for this, and what happens if everything goes wrong and everything is in chaos. I'm going to be analyzing some gameplay and showing you how to survive it. All right. If you do enjoy this kind of gameplay and this kind of videos, please like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on. It deeply helps me out a lot. Remember to check out our Instagram as well, Banner Bros YT. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Before we start off, I just do want to mention that I do stream every single day at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now let's jump right into this puppy. So tip number one, obviously, is how to survive the most wanted contract. And obviously, the most basic one is, you know, you're going to go ahead and grab the most wanted. Right beside it is going to be a chopper, and you're going to get the hell out of there. But obviously, if the world was that easy every single day, you wouldn't be watching this video. So we're going to be talking about what are the best places to drop to get that most wanted and to survive it. Usually, we're talking about dropping because most of the times when you're going to grab a most wanted is if your whole team went to the gulag, your teammates sucked booty, and you were the only one that survived and now you got to drop and get yourself a most wanted so best places to drop are going to be downtown or if the most wanted is within a building with stairs or elevator the reason being is because you want to put yourself in an advantageous position where you can defend yourself a little bit more easily obviously the tips in this video aren't going to tell you guys to go and be james bond and be terminator and try to kill everybody the most important things try and get yourself into a good location where you can get yourself some good amount of cover and obviously what you want to do is when you're in a building with an elevator or stairs you've given yourself an advantage why is that if the enemies are pushing you through the stairs even though they can see you you can hear them first again you want to make sure you do as much a position of you can so that you can hear him first or so that you can see him first if you guys didn't know when you do check the mini map you can actually ping the most wanted and it will let you know exactly where his position is and as well if you do see the crown it will give you a little arrow above or below indicating if they if the most wanted is above you or below you so again when you do have the most wanted you are in a very bad position that's why you want to give yourself as much advantage as you can so again why is being in a building really important what you want to do is you want to set yourself position so if you're in the stairs you don't want to be all the way at the top at the beginning you want to be in the middle all right because the main thing of the most wanted is wasting the time so that your teammates can come back to life all right you never want to be all the way to the top or in the final room again you always want to have different lines of defense obviously if you're in the elevator that is a pretty common one if a guy comes up the elevator it's going to be an easy kill because he can't do anything about it all right again this is all about wasting time now now let's talk about the best class setup let's say you're dropping from the gulag and you have the drop available to you all right so what are, where, where are you gonna land what, what is the best class setup that you're gonna get the best one that i'm gonna use is i actually have a really good one which is this riot shield class that i am using right here why because riot shield obviously if you have it on you it avoids you getting sniped from a really really far location after peeking a window it also has gas grenades and thermites which allow you to give yourself extra time and that is all you need Again, let's say you get that class set up, you got the most wanted, and you're in the stairs, you've given yourself a really, really good amount of tools to make your enemy waste time when they're getting you obviously if they're pushing up and they're rushing you with your most wanted and you throw a gas it's going to slow them down a little bit then you throw a thermite and it's going to slow them down a little bit more so again i'm going to put that the uh video on the uh screen right now for that exact ride shield class again this is kind of like the desperate class if you really really want the best class to survive most wanted this is going to be it again because it is a support class you can get yourself some nice cover and you can get yourself uh way a lot of time now we're going to be going into what if all that goes wrong right what if i don't have any loadout drop what if my most wanted isn't in a building what if i don't have a helicopter what if what if it's the chaos of the chaos and it's world war three and you've got the most wanted what are you going to do so we're going to analyze the gameplay right here as you guys can see I, it is only me alive all right so it's going to be a trios we are playing in a trio so it's still a fair amount of people you know if i grab the most wanted and three people are coming at me that's still a fair amount of people that you need to uh get that you need to fight off so the first thing that i'm going to do as you guys can see here 
The first thing is I do not actually land immediately in the most wanted location unless I know that it is completely clear and that it is unlooted so I can get some stuff. The first stuff that I want to do is I land a little bit further away and I want to get myself guns because there is absolutely no hope in hell. If you land immediately, somebody's camping that most drop, that most wanted or somebody's around you, you grab the most wanted, there's an enemy right side of your building and they jump in you and what are you going to have? All you're going to have is a pistol to defend yourself and obviously nobody here is going to immediately shoot every single of the 15 bullets or whatever amount of bullets come in your pistol and you're going to headshot. That's why it's very important to land in another building and at least get yourself, you know, an assault rifle, the submachine gun, anything, because you are going to be completely useless if you jump and grab that most wanted immediately. All right. You want to be, you want to be smart about it. So here we go. I saw the guy move out of the building and I thought that was my chance to get the most wanted, right? So now what are we going to do? We got We always got to pay attention to your time. We've got two minutes and 50 seconds until I revive my teammates. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is what you see is I always try to move around buildings. Again, what I mentioned, always try to go to a building that has stairs. These building that I'm in is really, really good. I believe this is one of the best ones to survive the most wanted. Um, and then you will see why. So here I'm just trying to loot again. Uh, just trying to get take some cover. But we got to take a look at the zone, right? Obviously, I'm outside the zone my the zone closed in in a minute 50 and my most wanted still has two minutes and 20 seconds that means that i won't be able to survive it outside of the zone this is not where you want to be this is not the ideal location just to let you guys know i am being hunted i've got most wanted i'm in the zone people are shooting at me this is when chaos gets real all right so i'm going to pause the video right here Chaos is, is real, right? The zone is closing in. We got hunted. We got most wanted. We got people shooting at us. What are we going to do? Again, this is what we're going to do. As you guys can see here, I marked myself a, uh, I got my mouse here. I, I marked myself the building here where I want to go, where I want to drop to, because I know I will be safe in this building. Again, I want to get to that building that allows me to get a little bit of cover. So we're going to be playing around here again. I mark it and, and that is what I do. I'm going to, as you guys can see, I also check every single doorway and every single alleyway because you do have to remember, again, you always have to remember they're going to have the eyes on you. They can see the exact precision where you at. So that is something that, again, always checking. You see, always checking my back. Again, I see a guy over there and as you guys can see, sometimes I do a lot, a little bit of the things that people was, I'm going to show you in the video a little bit further on, but when you have most wanted, sometimes you're going to have to do something that seems stupid, but the enemy won't think you're going to do it because it's so stupid. One of those things, I did it right there. The guy saw me. I, I, don't, I don't think he saw me, but I believe he saw me. And usually if he, th if he knows I got the most wanted, most likely I'm going to keep running. I'm not going to turn back and shoot at him. So what I do is I do the opposite. I actually turned around and maybe I could land a couple shots on that guy. Again, reason being, if you guys did see my, uh, my, uh, which we'll go back into this part right here. If you did see my 1v3, uh, scenario when you were, when you're down and you're, and you're the last one alive, if you always have the chance, you always want to take as much health as to the enemy as possible. So as you guys can see, that guy did actually see me and he went around and he cut me and he tried to get me too. What would have happened if I would have, obviously I beat him in this situation, but if I would have gone back and he would have still been aiming and I could have landed a couple shots on him if that he didn't expect when he pushed this location, he would have already been lower in health than I was because I'd managed to land those shots at the beginning. That's why it is very, very important that whenever you see an enemy and, and you know they're going to push you, it is very important that you can land as many shots even though you're not going to kill him, to land as many shots as you can. So when that fight comes on, you can take him on. So obviously, luckily on this one, I got that nice kill and I managed to get that. Again, I do it really quickly. You know, I shoot him. I eliminate him. I'm not going to go for his loot because I've got a most wanted on my head. He's got teammates. All right. Don't get greedy. Don't go for loot. All right. Most wanted again is about wasting time trying to get your homies back to life. All right. Do not go for loot. Do not go for all that stuff unless it's safe. Okay, what we're going to do is play these stairs. These stairs are the best places to play to get yourself uh, to survive the most wanted. All right. So again, we're going to go all the way to the top. Um, again, as you guys notice, I'm not in the final room yet, which is the one here in the back. I'm just going to be playing uh, myself here in these stairs. Um, I'm not aiming down right now. What I'm actually doing, obviously, you can't hear, but I'm 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 sound whoring. Basically, it is very important that when you play Most Wanted, you sound whore a lot, which means you listen to everything that is going around you. That is going to be very important because again, you're in a disadvantage already. The enemies can see the exact location what you have. So the only thing that you have is going to be your ears, all right? You got no eyes because they beat you on that. They know exactly where you are. So if you can't beat them with the eyes, you got to beat them by listening to them, all right? That is going to be the most important thing. So here I heard a lot of gunshots. There was a lot of fighting going around. They threw a cluster strike. 
I don't think this one was directly at me because there was there was people below me. As you guys can see, there's multiple cluster strikes coming in. So we got teams pushing in from the bottom, teams pushing in from everywhere. And again, very, very important. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I actually did manage to even aim to the guy before um, before I even saw him. So I was trying to switch guns and I heard him coming up the stairs. So I kind of hit a little bit. Again, we got, we got those most, those ones coming in here. And again, I see him coming up the stairs. You guys can see I already had my aim there. Why? Because my hearing skills were a little bit better than him. So I already have my aiming right above him. And again, that's going to be an easy, woo, almost an easy kill for me. Almost had no, no health on that one, but I managed to get the kill. And again, I go out for the elimination. You do not want to knock down an enemy and then he goes down the stairs and he gets revived. So again, we're going to go ahead and get that elimination. This is what I mean by not being in your final spot. What, it, what that allows me to do is I'm in the stairs. And, and this is my Alamo per se. I don't know if you guys seen the movie The Alamo or know what it is, but it's basically your final stand. This room is my Alamo. All right, this is where I go when I want to heal up. So I shoot that enemy, I confirm him, and I go running back into my Alamo, a place where I know there's only one entrance and I am safe. All right, the, the reason being, if, if I was in this place at first, at the beginning, and that guy pushed me, and, and it was the same exact situation where I beat him, but I had a sliver of health. I got nowhere else to run. I can't run back and hide and, and put a little bit of plates. That little room allowed me to put back plates and, and, and regain ammunition and for the enemy to rethink their position. But obviously, if they know I'm in that final room, everybody's going to push me at the same time. So again, we're here we are, and we're in a very tough spot, right? We've got most wanted. We've got these motherfuckers. They're coming to avenge me. They're like, this, this dude just killed my teammate. It's not possible, right? He's going to come get me. Again, always taking a look at the time. We've got 30 seconds on the clock here to revive all our teammates. So very tough spot, right? We're in the Alamo. It's, it's, it's going to get to that point. We're in the Alamo. We got we got mofos coming in. Again, I'm sound whoring. I'm trying to hear exactly when they're, when they're going to be coming in. And here I start listening that they start throwing a couple C4s in there. They don't really throw it that uh, good um they i don't think they exactly knew where i was so they, they threw a couple c4s in there they exploded he missed that one and you're gonna see this is what i mean with doing what the enemy thinks is stupid so you'll never do it so then you do the complete opposite which is a stupid thing so here he was taking a couple shots at me and my friends were like no 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 man like don't do it you know we're about to we're, we're about to come out you know you got 10 seconds left what are you doing so what i do is the unthinkable and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push him. He already took a couple shots. And what I did is I went all the way back, right? So he can see that. He may think that I'm, you know, I'm going to hide and it's going to be his, his, his chance to push. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the complete opposite. And I'm going to go ahead and push him with a nice little drop shot. Go into a little bit of the zone, into the green zone, actually, into the gas. And I'm going to get that nice kill. So you guys can see, got that nice kill. Again, not greedy immediately with the, with the kill. I went back. Put my ammo back, very important, and I go outside and get that confirmed kill. I get his ammo immediately really fast, and I try to, again, I try to pop to see if there's somebody else in the stairs. Again, another very important thing. Usually, people would grab the loot, hide, but what I like to do is I like to grab that ammo, and immediately, I start peeking the next place where the enemy can come from. Again, that's something that you always want to do. And as you guys can see, one more second left, and the, uh, and the squad was all good. The squad was all back to life, and just like that, we've got ammo. But the problem is, obviously, I've got 21 seconds left. Um, match gets intense, by the way. But yeah, just like that, I mean, I managed to get a most wanted from a very chaotic position through multiple cluster strikes, people pushing my building, everything. And I managed to get my team back up alive with quite a few kills. Again, I'm going to go over, just recap the a little bit because I went through quite a bit of things here. So recap number one, if you can land in downtown or land in this buildings, these buildings that have the balcony on the top and the three story and the uh, stairs, those are going to be the best places to land. Again, if you do have the chance to get your loadout drop, grab it and grab that ride shield class that I put in the video a little bit uh, back. When you're going to land in the most wanted, if you're landing in an already looted situation, um, always land in a place where you can get at least a gun because you're going to be, again, there's no use for you going immediately for that most wanted. You grab it. There's a team right beside you. They jump in you and all you have is a pistol and you're not going to kill them. All right. So again, I always try to get a couple guns at, at least. So if you have a couple guns, you grab the most wanted, you face off into a team, you have a little bit of chance to, you know, to get something. And at the end, if, if it's full chaos mode, what you want to do in those situations in, in, in any building, that was just a specific, obviously, example because I was in that building. But again, you always want to have different line of defenses that you can move back, move back, move back, waste time and have yourself a nice little Alamo in the end. 
All right, again, that is the most important thing. Do not go to your final room. Always try to have separate lines of defenses so that you can take a couple enemies down or shoot them and just prevent them from pushing you into that final room. And yeah, that was pretty much it for the video. Uh, this video was pretty intense. I did get, uh, I did manage to get 17 kills with 16,000 damage. Uh, the ending was insane. So I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit here to the final part um which was gonna be right over here so two minutes left two minutes left of the game and i'm just gonna play it here um uh, and yeah just let you guys enjoy it. but yeah that was the end of the video but if you want to enjoy the rest of the gameplay uh go ahead and yeah peace out everybody <laughs> ¿Muerto? El eliminado ya. Güey, esta bardilla. Están peleando justo enfrente, güey. Aquí, ahorita que se mueva. Cuatro segundos. Ahí está. Muy bien, que te va a caer. No lo veo, no lo veo. Ya lo vi, ya lo vi uno. Muerto, downeado, confirmado. No, aquí está el otro, güey. No, 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 Ahí está, ahí está. Ya, güey. Gas is moving. Ah, no quiero uno, güey. Al que no le disparaste, güey. Ahí está. Gas, güey. Ah, la verga. Ahí está. Sí. Venga, tiene... Tiene pena ahí, güey. ¡Eh! 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 ¡Puta naco de mierda! ¡Suck my fucking dick, motherfucker piece of shit! ¡Let's go, bro! ¡Let's go! ¡Eh, bro! Mira, no me voy a hacer un cabrón. 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 No me voy a hacer un c